Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about production of concrete. Production of concrete has certain stages you have to pass through it. Like batching of concrete, batching means the measuring of the ingredients of the concrete mass and we have to finalize the required quantity of the, all the ingredients like coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement mass, water content and plasticizer as well as super plasticizer. So finalizing the quantity of the all the ingredients and measuring of this quantity for the particular mix it's known as a batching or measuring of the concrete. So this is the first step then second one is mixing. After the finalizing the all the ingredients of the concrete mass we have to mix it and we have a different method for the mixing of concrete like hand mixing machine mixing so this is our second stage which is known as a, which is the mixing of concrete after the mixing of the concrete we require the transportation because the production of the concrete is done in the different areas from the our existing site so from the location of the production of the concrete and to our existing site we require transportation of concrete so this is our third stage and after the transporting we require the placing of the concrete mass it is not enough to proper batching proper mix design proper mixing and proper transporting we also consider one important point which is placing of the concrete it should be in the proper manner we have a different methods for the placing of concrete and after the placing we require the compacting of the concrete for removing of the entrapped air so if the entrapped air is the placed in our concrete mass that will be effect to the compressive strength of the concrete so removal of the entrapped air we require compaction and after the compacting we require finishing of the concrete surface and then the after the casting of the concrete we have to apply the moisture to the concrete mass for the complete hydration process this is curing so we have to pass all these stages for the manufacture of concrete you can say production of concrete now let us discuss all the steps step by step in this session we will discuss about batching of concrete and remaining stage we will discuss in next session so let us understand what is batching or measuring of materials batching or measurement of materials it has two methods for the batching of materials you can say ingredients of the concrete mass like volume batching and weight batching volume batching we are prefer for the small work or unimportant concreting work and the weight batching will give you the accurate measurement compared to the volume batching let us discuss in detail first one is volume batching you can see on your screen the photo shows that the volume formas are shown in your on your screen and the volume batching is not a good method for the proportion of the material and this is not considered in the large project work this is used only for the unimportant concreting work 
and the small job of the concreting and even through measurement by the weight is preferable whenever is it is possible so gauge box you can see on your screen this is the gauge box which dimension is 30 cm by 30 cm and 40 cm we have a different size of the farmers available in our market depending upon the use and depending upon the batching we require different volume of the farmers is required generally we are using the 35 liters of the volume of the farmers because this will be easily for the calculation with the other ingredients proportions with respect to the cement volume so in general we are using 35 liters farma in our volume batching because 35 liter is the volume of cement so this is our reference we can get we are using the 35 liter of the farmers and gauge box are also called farmers and they can be made of the timber and steel in our market we are using generally steel farmers or you can say gauge box and when the sand fine aggregate is moist the correction of the effect of bulking should be made if the any materials generally we are facing the problem uh, with the fine aggregate bulking so in that case in that case the volume of fine aggregate should be corrected you can see on your screen this table shows different type of the farmers available in our market you can see in the first column shows that the length of the farmers second column shows that the width of the farmers and the third one is depth of the farmers and in the last column shows that volume in liter if you are using the 33.3 cm in length in farma and 30 cm in width and 20 cm in depth it means you are using the 20 liter of the of the volume and we are generally use 33.3 cm in length 30 cm in width and 35 cm in depth so we are using the 35 liter of volume because our cement bag has the volume of 35 liter and the weight is 50 kg uh, for the proportional finalization it will be really easy to calculate the other materials with respect to the cement volume so we are using generally 35 liter with dimension of 33 by 30 by 35 cm generally in our construction field now let us discuss about calculation of volume batching you can see on your screen the table shows that mix proportions when we are filling our materials in the gauge box it should be filled loosely there is no requirement of the compaction you have to consider this this one important point you are taking the volume type of the batching there is a no requirement of the compaction and you can see on your screen the mix proportion shows on your screen so there are the uh, lump sum proportion we can take for the m10 m15 and m20 if you want to final proportion you have to calculate the mix design and then you can get the final proportion of the particular mix but if we talk about the lump sum proportion for the m10 there will be required 1 gem 3 gem 6 what is 1 one part of the total volume will be cement 3 means 3 part will be fine aggregate of the total volume of the concrete mix and the 6 part will be coarse aggregate so 1 gem 3 gem 6 one part for cement three part for the fine aggregate and the six part for the coarse aggregate this will be m10 and if we talk about the m15 1 gem 2 gem 4 it means one part cement two part fine aggregate and the fourth part is coarse aggregate of the total volume 
what about m20 one gem 1.5 gem 3 one part cement 1.5 1.5 part fine aggregate and the three part is coarse aggregate so depending upon the grade of the concrete the mix proportion will be changed and and you have to do the mix design for the final mix proportion of the particular values these are the lump sum value you can use for the small construction work and if we talk about the m15 grade so in that case we require one gem two gem four as we know cement bag has 50 kg of the mass so weight of the cement is 50 kg and we know that the volume of cement bag of the 50 kg will be 35 liter so if we talk about the weight of the cement that will be 50 kg and the volume of the cement will be 35 liter so we have to take the 35 liter of the volume as a reference and here m15 grade of the concrete we require one gem two gem four in that case we require 50 kg or you can say 35 liter and then one gem two it means you have to multiply by two with the 35 it means 35 into two you will get the fine aggregate volume and one gem two gem four so coarse aggregate we have to multiply the four by the 35 liter so in the first case 35 liter or you can say 50 kg of the cement 35 into 2 we will get the sand particles 70 and 35 into 4 we will get the coarse aggregate it means 140 liters just we have to take the 35 liter reference for the cement mass but our bag is in the 50 kg so we have taken here 50 kg of the cement and you can take here the 35 liter and sand is 35 into 2 is equal to 70 35 into 4 is equal to 140 in case of the m10 grade of the cement concrete in that case 35 into 1 it means we will get the cement mass or 50 kg 35 into 3 it means we will get 100 and the 5 liter of the fine aggregate 35 into 6 it means we will get the 200 and the 10 liter for particular coarse aggregate in case of the bulking correction required we have to correct this generally we are facing the bulking issue in the fine aggregates so here i have taken an example in that case 1 gem 2 gem 4 and in that case the bulking of sand is occurs in the concrete mix mix so in that case we have to correct it so bulking correction should be taken while you're doing the volume of batching so this is all about the calculation of volume batching now let us discuss about weight batching weight batching by the weight is the pref preferable of the volume batching as it will give you the more accurate and the leads to more uniform proportioning and the quality of concrete in case of the large construction project and in the accurate work you require the weight batching compared to the volume batching weight batching can be done in three way first one is manual weight batching second one is semi automatic weight batching and third one is automatic weight batching now batching of cement as we know cement is always based by the weight because the cement bag has 50 kg of the mass of the weight and if we have to calculation regarded to the volume so we are considered 35 liter but this value is only for the calculation but we are taking generally 50 kg of the bag for the batching so mostly it is based in the term of 50 kg and if we talk about the batching of water so water is measured in kg generally we are taking the liters so in case of the water the kg and liters are same 
and the quantity of water requires depending upon the water cement ratio. We have generally the value of the cement mass and the water divided by cement is equal to water cement ratio. After the finalizing the water cement ratio and value of the cement mass, we can easily get the quantity of water. For example, if we have taken the 0.5 water cement ratio, water mass divided by cement mass and we know that the cement has 50 kg of the weight and water cement ratio is equal to 0.5. It means 0.5 multiplied by 50. It means water content will be 25 kg. You can say 25 liter. So, batching of water is calculated based on the water cement ratio. It's generally taken in liter. So, you have to consider that the volume batching has done for the small work. Weight batching will give you the accurate result. Cement generally taken as a 50 kg for the reference and this is considered in the weight mass of the kg and the water is taken later. So this is all about the batching of concrete. Thank you.